We will now look at the humanistic school of thought under the philosophies of education. Just as the name implies, humanistic, being human. The teacher, the student, both are humans in the education scenario. And therefore, the humanistic approach or the humanistic school of thought focuses on both these elements as human beings. And therefore, what should one do with the student, with the teacher, among them and between them? Show respect to the students. Just because I'm the elder in the class doesn't mean I have to be disrespectful. I should learn student names. I should be able to say my please and thank you. And if necessary, even sorry. We as adults also make mistakes and we should be able to say sorry to someone, even if that someone is years younger than us. Only then will students learn these magic words. Please, thank you, and sorry. Those are the three magic words that I think are important even today for life in the 21st century. Only when we show respect, because today no one is giving respect to anyone for free. Even the teacher has to earn the respect of the students. You have to earn it. You are not going to automatically get it. Those days are gone when people said teachers must be respected and everybody respected the teacher. Those days are gone. Today, even the teacher will have to earn the respect. So show respect, you will get respect. If you use the three magic words, the students will also learn to use the three magic words. So it is a two-way street. You cannot live life in the 21st century going one way. It has to be a give and take. You have to give and then you receive. You cannot be at the receiving end of life today. You have to at times be at the giving end of life as well. Consideration of students' needs, expectations, feelings and values. Now if you look at those things, needs, need for information, need for knowledge, need for health, what needs? any need. Expectations. What does the student expect? We teachers expect lots from students. What do students expect from us? We've never thought of that because we've always looked at education as a one-way street. The teacher is the giver, the student is the receiver. That's not the way it works anymore. Feelings and values. This has to do with emotions and morals. How is a student supposed to learn the right emotions and the right morals if nobody shows him, shares with him, and if he doesn't see it in action in real life in society? So all four have to be considered for the student. The student needs, the student expectations, the student's feelings, and the student's values. All four are critically important under the humanistic approach to education. You cannot look only at the needs and the expectations because in the 21st century we want to develop the whole child and the whole child will be developed if we focus on the intellectual development, the moral development, the physical development, the spiritual development, the emotional development and so on and so forth. So we can no longer rely only on the intellect, the mind, or the mental. We have to look at the other three, four elements that make up a young student today. Accepting students as they are. This is called unconditional regard. You are my student and I honestly don't care who you are, where you're from. The important thing is you are my student. Unconditional positive regard. It's not only if you do the work, only if you get an A grade, only if you can show me this, will I be nice to you. No, you must accept the student for what they are and then mold them if you think they are not the right kind of people. That depends on you. But accept them. Separate the sin from the sinner. I hate the sin, but I love 
the sinner. And that should be the key to 21st century humanistic education.